Hi guys, so we are now ready to blow dry Roxy and we have previously bathed her and I'll have the link down below if you haven't washed how we bath her. Now, this is a new way of us blow drying Roxy and we've not tried it on the table before, we usually try it on the couch and it is a definite no-go, she is so misbehaved. So trying it on the table is new to us and it's new to her so I'm not entirely sure how it was going to go but I was very pleased with the result. Now I have no set way of blow drying, I just blow dry the body first and then aim for the head last just because I know she doesn't tolerate that so I don't want her to be annoyed before I get to the body. So I'm just rewarding her with a couple of treats in between just for good behaviour, you know, lying well, lying still and I'm unfortunate that I don't have a hands-free dryer, I only have the handheld one which I would use on my normal hair so it's a bit difficult for me to brush hold the dog and hold the hair dryer at the same time so I'm going to need to persevere. So I just start off blow drying tail, body, legs, just all over body. I aim for the head last. The hair dryer is not on a high speed, it's on a low speed so that it doesn't frighten her and it's not too hot either. I try brushing her with the brush just while I'm blow drying, hoping that she doesn't jump off the table at the same time although she does get a wee bit wriggly now and then so I just need to be careful. So I'm just using the pin brush to go over her hair, over her legs with the hair dryer, rewarding her with treats in between and praising her for good behaviour. We've not mastered her lying on her side yet, we are still trying to do that, she's more of lying on her stomach. I don't know what it is but she just does not like getting the ears or the head blow dried at all. If anybody has any suggestions or anything, leave me a comment down below and I'll be happy to take on any suggestions for blow drying the head and I'm willing to try absolutely anything. So I did mist her with the detangling spray to start off with. It has quite a nice smell, it's the Groomers Online website that we use for our products and it's a, a grooming detangling spray although I dilute it in water. As you can see she's getting a wee bit unsettled here so turning her around on this is a bit of a nightmare. It does have a non-slip mat underneath however I did polish the desk this morning so it's a bit slidey. She's not quite sure in turning round, she's a bit nervous on the table so trying to get her to sit right is a bit of a challenge. She hasn't learned to lie down yet either so we're trying to teach her that while on the table. So just getting her other side that I couldn't reach when she was lying the other way, rewarding her with treats in between for good behaviour. And there she is trying to steal a few. I find it quite good on the table, I was very surprised in how she behaved, she's like a completely different dog so I'm very happy with the result of this and I will continue to blow dry her on the table. I do have a whole range of Chris Christensen brushes and combs coming next week which we are very very excited about and we also have new Chris Christensen shampoos and conditioners, it's the Spectrum 10 and the Just Divine Detangling Spray. Never used these products before but we are very excited for the delivery. So again having difficulty with the head, trying to distract her with a treat while I blow dry the ears and the head. 
She mats really bad behind the ears sometimes so I really want to make sure I get them dried. I do really find it a nuisance when I'm having to hold the dryer. Oh! <laughs> Jamie having a wee laugh in between. I do find it a nuisance for the hair dryer, holding a hair dryer and brushing and trying to hold the dog at the same time. I feel as if I need four arms. So, I have looked into a professional blaster which we are going to purchase next week and we are also very excited for this because it means I can have hands free and I can have full control on brushing and holding the dog at the same time. I do like to make sure that I get, get everywhere dry. There she's a wee bit unsure. I seem to think that putting this round her head would make me dry her head a wee bit easier, however it didn't work. It was a definite no-go. Here we are distracting with another biscuit. And she tolerates it a wee bit, but she's not daft. The treats I'm feeding her is Lily's Kitchen lamb with peas and parsley. It was the sample packs that we received from Lily's Kitchen and she absolutely loves them so just distracting her with them helps. Again, she is nervous on the table and I'm a wee bit nervous with her being on the table just because I'm afraid that she will jump off and possibly hurt herself. So we're taking extra care to keep an eye on what she's doing. And I just brush over with the pin brush making sure that there's no mats, no tugs. I tend to brush backwards so that it fluffs up the hair and then brush forward. She keeps sliding off the mat. So just giving her a once over brush, making sure that everything is dry and smooth. And we are almost finished. Here we go. So just praising her for her good behaviour and she gives me a kiss at the end and then we reward her with a special treat which we usually use the cheesy fish. It's just two different types of cheeses and she gets it this, this at the end of every groom time as a good reward. And that is us. So thank you guys for watching, comment, like or subscribe and we will see you guys later. Bye!